right guys, we did an impromptu trip to Six Flags because it's open right now. The girls are currently looking at the dolphins in the window. Let's see, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, let's see. Can you guys see the dolphins? Oh, there they are. Neat. Cool. Dana's parking, so she's gonna meet us in here. I'm excited to get my free food. I always look forward to the free food. Oh my god, you guys. Six Flags was so crazy today. It's because it's a holiday and it was super sunny. It was jam-packed. We had to leave. But me and Maddie got to ride the Joker, which was super fun. I felt super weird afterwards just because I don't ride roller coasters that much. Anyways, it's really late. And I forgot my, my watch at home, which means I didn't even get to track my steps, which kind of sucks. But what time is it? Uh, it is... Look at this picture of T that's on my watch. Can you see it? <laughs> it's 9.45. Um, I'm watching her, which is so crazy. Season 2 came out a few days ago. I'm on episode 5, and it's so crazy. I can't even. But I think I'm going to take a break and go downstairs and cook my HelloFresh meal from last week. Because it, it's a salmon dinner, and I don't want it to go bad. It's been a, a one week and one day, so I'm going to cook it tonight so that it doesn't go bad. Because I already got my next two meals in. Uh, Mac and I are chilling. I think I told you guys this, but Kitty's here. She's hiding behind the sofa. There was a really strange interaction this morning. I didn't film it, but um, I think Lilo finally realized that Kitty was here. Uh, because when Kitty first got here, Lilo was only here for half a day and Kitty was hiding the whole time. But today... I think he was like confused because there was two cats and then so he was like really interested and then Kitty saw him for the first time and she started freaking out. It was a whole thing. So Kitty's now back to hiding behind the sofa which kind of sucks but she's only here for a few more days so hopefully and she comes out to eat and to use the, the litter box so that's good. But I wish she could like freely roam around without being scared but it happens. What are you going to do about it? So I think I'm going to cook and eat a little bit and then oh and then we have to do sock advent calendars I'm oh and I need to edit videos I posted day 22 today but I needed to post 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and then tomorrow I gotta post 30 and I want to do a live stream soon there's so much stuff going on anyways okay let's do some stuff okay guys it's kind of late but I just finished cooking I'm not gonna lie I ate some of the stuff already but here's what we have we have couscous with some um, green onions, the white part of the green onions. We have some salmon. They were supposed to give me skin salmon, but this one was skinless, but that's okay. We have this um, zucchini salad. It's very interesting. I don't really like raw vegetables, but this was zucchini that I used a peeler and cut these really thin ribbons. And then you just put some lemon juice, olive oil, and then I chopped up some Roma tomato and some green onions and you just toss it and it's good. And then we have this crema. This is a sour cream with lemon, salt, and pepper that you're supposed to driz drizzle over. I'm not sure if I'm going to drizzle yet, but maybe. Ninja! Guys, last day of advent calendars! Ah! Uh, what day was this for? The 30th. We have our last of the advent calendars. They are all Harry Potter calendars. Um, I only had 30 days worth of advent calendars for socks, so... That's it, let's do it. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Last Harry Potter calendar we have Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry. I knew I was gonna say that. You're a wizard, Harry. Okay, there you go. HP number two. Uh, we have a pair of socks that have Hedwig and Mail. Eh, those are interesting. All right, last advent calendar officially of 2019. We have, oh, is it gonna be Hufflepuff socks? We ended with Hufflepuff socks. Oh, these ones are probably the scariest of all the ones that we've received. Interesting, interesting. I'm not sure if I like those. 
All right, guys. Technically, it's really actually the last day. It's, it's the next day, but I, it's, you know. Anyways, uh, thank you for joining me today on day 30 of Vlogmas. I hope you guys had a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. What's up, guys? Nerdy Nub here, and welcome to day 31 of Vlogmas, officially the last day of Vlogmas. I have failed miserably at Vlogmas, but I've just come to the conclusion that sometimes we fail at things, and that's okay. Um, I failed at a lot of things this break, to be honest. I, I haven't cleaned my room. Haven't really done much with the upstairs. Still haven't done anything with the garage. It happens. So today is New Year's Eve. It's the night where everyone goes out and parties. I preferably don't like going out in general, but I definitely don't like going out on New Year's Eve. And so I chose, and I've actually done this many a times as an adult, to stay at home. Uh, Chris and Sworn went somewhere and Tyler went somewhere and Jackson's still with his grandma. So uh, I'm home alone with Mac. They did take Lilo, which is probably for the better because people have already been shooting off fireworks. And Lilo hates fireworks. Like he'll bark every single time. What I'm doing is my mom had made some um, borscht soup. Not the Russian borscht soup that has like beets, but there's like a Chinese style borscht soup. If anybody's ever been to like somewhere like Cafe Bakery, they always give it to you as a starter is some borscht soup. So they really gave me like this container full. And what I did was I added a bunch of crap to it. <laughs> so I added some tomato paste. I added some fresh tomatoes. I added some more carrots, some potatoes, some leftover Brussels sprouts that we had. I had to, um, ketchup. Salt, pepper, smoked paprika. I didn't have regular paprika, so I had to use smoked paprika. So now the soup's a little bit smoky. Um, I, I chopped up some carrots, a little bit of lemon. Uh, I think my parents had some kind of meat in this. I don't know what kind of meat it was. I'm going to assume pork, maybe, or beef. I'm not sure. But basically, I've just added a bunch of stuff to it in order to try to make borscht, which it's not really tasting like borscht. It's more tasting like tomato soup. But it's actually pretty good. So, I probably could blend this, to be honest, like, with my immersion blender. But, I like the chunkiness of it. I added more cabbage, but all I had was shredded cabbage, so that'll do. There is definitely a smoky flavor to that because of the smoked paprika. You gotta be careful with that stuff. It's strong. Anyways, Mac and I, we're basically gonna chill the night. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm hoping that maybe I can clean my room while I'm chilling. <laughs> Um, I'm watching The Martian right now. I love that movie so much. I could watch that probably once a week for the rest of my life. I really do enjoy the movie. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill and I'm gonna chill. I might do some uh, laundry because there's stuff that's been on my floor that needs to be washed that I just, I always like, I don't need that. And then I leave it in the pile and then I do my, the laundry for the clothes that I wear and then I just, you know, the pile gets bigger and all that stuff. So anyways, just wanna check in with you. I'll definitely continue checking in with you, hopefully with a clean room or something. Hopefully something will be clean by the end of this vlog. Don't hold your breath, but we'll see. We shall see. I forgot to mention that I, today I finished watching season two of You. I started literally like two nights ago. Maybe last night? No, two nights ago. I, I stayed up one night, watched three episodes. Yesterday I watched another like three episodes and then today... I watched four episodes, that sounds about right. Three or four episodes, I don't know. Um, that was cray cray. It was cray cray, but at some point I felt like, I won't spoil it, I, at some point I felt like, oh wait a second, I think I know what's about to happen. And then it did happen and I was like, okay. So a teeny bit predictable, I'm excited for season three because they left like a cliffhanger and I was like, oh, but I think, I read some articles so I think I know what it's gonna be about. Anyways, I just wanted to say like, that show is so crazy. It's like Dexter. It's like Dexter, but instead of like, just random people, it's like you get invested with characters and then it's like Dexter and you're like, oh. Um, it's like a more emotional Dexter, I suppose. But yeah, Penn Badgley is hella good in that. I was never a, f a fan of his, like, or I wasn't not a fan of his, I just wasn't, you know, he was just kind of a random dude. Um, but I do enjoy his acting, so, yeah. 
I hope, let me know if you've seen it, but don't spoil it, I guess. Don't, don't spoil alert it for other people. All right, guys, I wish I could give you better content, but honestly, I just, I don't do anything with my life. Um, I'm getting ready to go to bed. It is officially almost 1 a.m., so Happy New Year's, everybody. I always say New Year's. Happy New Year, everybody, 2020. Hopefully, it will be great, who knows? Who knows, but uh, before we go, I wanted to show you guys some things that I bought myself. This is kind of like my own, my Christmas gift to myself, I guess. I mean, I know I usually get myself things all the time, but anyways, uh, I thought I would just show you. These are some Amazon pickups. So I got a couple new, um, these are the paracord things that you can put around your water bottle so it gives the water bottle a handle. Um, this one's a teal and purple, and then this one's just teal and black, but this one's kind of a whiter version, I guess. Um, I got this Sonic toothbrush, which is totally off-brand, but it had really good reviews, so I thought I would try it out. I got some sticker packs. I like the random sticker packs, the vinyl stickers from Amazon. Um, I think I got two of these. This one's a bunch of corgis, so like, there's gonna be like corgi butts and stuff, hopefully. Uh, I got a new water bottle. My hydro flask is kind of janks because I dropped it so many times. So I got this one. Again, not a hydro flask because those are expensive. This is called Hydrocell, but this had good reviews. Um, I always get the weirdest colors though. I should have just gotten black, but instead I got this blue and teal kind of, uh, what do you call it when it does that? Mm, it's called, I forgot what it's called. So, um, yeah, there's the two lids on here. Oh, and then I'll probably put, I don't like to use this. Well, is this a straw lid without the straw? Or is there, oh, there's a straw in there. Uh, I don't really like to use straw lids, so I'll probably leave that one, but I'll probably add one of these handles onto it. Um, what is it called when it does this? I forgot. Anyways, I got this calendar that I saw on BuzzFeed, it's a habit calendar. So basically, you have to like, you put like bad habits that you have apparently, or I guess maybe things that you're supposed to, no, not bad habits, I'm sorry. I think you're supposed to put the good habits, like what you want to be doing. Let's open this. I think you put what you want to do, and then you like mark off like when you've done it. So like, this is for January. So if it was like, monthly was like, uh, or I don't know, let's see, daily, let's say it's like, okay, work out at least five minutes, and then you mark off when you've done them on which days. And then weekly could be like, like do laundry once a week or something, right? And then like, clean room is my monthly task. So there's... Um, one for each month, and each month has, um, like a theme, so January is movement, and February is reflection. Apparently that's like journaling, I don't really know. And then creativity is March, organization. So there's like different things, different themes, but you can kind of put whatever you want. So I, I like to get things like this to try them, and then I never kind of follow through but maybe that will be on my ca habit calendar like don't forget to do the habit calendar that'll be my yearly goal is there a yearly thing I don't know I don't know and then I got a scale because I actually don't have one in this house and I told you guys a few days ago when I went to the hospital and I got on the scale I was like uh oh and apparently this one's I think Wi-Fi so there's an app that you can get and it'll connect and like keep track of stuff, which is cool. So these are the purchases that I made right before the end of the year. I won't say that they're my New Year's resolution, but I'll say that obviously it's the beginning of the year. So I want to try to start new and better things for my life. We'll see if it works. Anyways, um, I hope you guys had a great year 2019 thank you guys so much for sticking with me throughout this year and throughout the past like four years five years that I've been on YouTube it's been crazy and I know I have been things have been different for me lately and 2019 was a little bit rough specifically for my YouTube channel um, but I'm you know 
actually I don't want to make any blank promises. I'm hoping that I can figure things out and I'm just going to go with it, right? I'm not going to make any promises. I'm just going to do. I'm going to, I really told myself, like, just do what feels right. If it doesn't feel right to film and post videos, then don't do that. So, um, you know, we'll see how it goes this year. But thank you guys so much for just sticking with me. I, I apologize that my vlogmas was so terrible this year. It was pretty bad. But I think what I'm going to start doing is weekly vlogs. Hopefully that should be, like, okay. I mean, thinking now, like, daily vlogs are so hard because I don't do it. Like, I, I lay in bed all day today. And I watched you and I'm watching New Girl now. But weekly should be a lot easier to, to figure that out. So, um... Hopefully you guys want to see that. If not, then let me know down below so I don't waste my time. But I actually like my vlogs and I love being able to look back on them. Um, it's kind of cool. Like I look back on some of my older vlogs and I'm like, oh, it's neat that I have these memories. So I'm totally down to hopefully try to keep up with weekly vlogs and hopefully it won't be as hard and difficult as the daily ones. I don't know how people daily vlog. It's crazy. I can't. I don't even know. Um, all right, guys, I hope that you guys had a really fun and safe New Year and New Year Day, New Year's celebration, New Year. I don't know. Well, you know, people go out and they do things. I hope you guys had fun. <coughs> I wish you guys the best in 2020, and hopefully I'll be seeing you guys around a lot. Thank you for joining me this Vlogmas, and uh, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys soon. See you guys later. Bye.